have a huge main event on this episode of British Wrestling Weekly, but before that, we kick things off with high flying Gen X action. Let's introduce you to the champion. Coming to the ring at this time with Chardonnay. Winning tonight at 187 pounds and healing from the city of Manchester. This is the current reigning and defending AGW Gen X League champion, Buckeye Bubblegum. Bubblegum is the first ever Gen X League champion. Steve Aaron said it, and regular viewers of this show will have witnessed it in that incredible three corners finals of the Gen X League, where Bubblegum was victorious over the wild boar Mike Hitchman and the TNA British Bootcamp 2 winner, Mark Andrews. But now, Bubblegum has a challenge of a different kind because his first defense will be against a man who is undefeated in the Gen X League and a man who just went toe to toe in one of the most incredible contests we've seen in this series with the current undisputed NGW heavyweight champion, the show stealer Nathan Cruz, because Bubblegum's opponent on this episode of British Wrestling Weekly is none other than the amazing Matt Myers. It's going to be an incredible opening contest. And don't forget that massive main event we have before the end of the hour, Rampage Brown against Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson. Bubblegum's first defence of the Gen X League Cup will be against a man who is on a mission, a mission for one more shot at the undisputed NGW title. To get that shot, he believes he must win this match. And that man's name is Matt Myers. Matt Myers gave of his soul in that contest against his childhood best friend, the show stealer Nathan Cruz. And although he came up short, he told us just before this contest that it's made him want NGW gold even more. And he has two opportunities at that gold. Opportunity number one is this match right here. And opportunity number two is the upcoming NGW 20-man over the top rope Destiny Rumble. Matt Myers won that last year, but to do so again, he must go through 19 other men. So you can bet that he sees Bubblegum as a much smaller obstacle to overcome, because he said Gen X League champion against NGW champion is a match that New Generation Wrestling Management cannot overturn. And now we may just see it. Remember, Gen X League fought under 10 minute time limit rules, but for that timer to start, Bubblegum must hit the top rope. He's got to hold that turnbuckle, and if we know anything about Bubblegum, we may be here all night. We're going to have to take a commercial break soon. I don't, I'm not normally a betting man, but I'm unsure whether or not I would put £50 of my money down to say that Bubblegum will not touch that top rope before the commercial break. Come on now. Okay, we're going to be right back. And by the time we come back, he may have touched that top rope. This is British Wrestling Weekly, and our huge main event is still to come before the end of the hour as Zach Gibson takes on Rampage Brown. We'll be right back. No way, no way. He touched it. Back here with you on British Wrestling Weekly, and we are coming up to three minutes into this Gen X League opening contest here as the amazing Matt Myers takes on Manchester's Bubblegum. And for three minutes, you may think, oh my God, during the commercial break, we missed something. I'll tell you what you missed. You missed Bubblegum doing what he has made an art form of, which is stalling and using every trick in the book to avoid actually wrestling with Matt Myers. It's been incredibly frustrating. And he knows that in these Gen X League contests, he has to be beaten because when that clock reaches 10, 10 minutes in, the match is over and Bubblegum retains the Gen X Cup. 
don't forget our huge main event. And it is a huge main event coming up before the end of the hour. The Control's unstoppable monster, Rampage Brown, takes on Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson, in the finals of the four-man knockout tournament to decide a new number one contender to the show stealer Nathan Cruz's undisputed NGW heavyweight title. And if there's one man who wishes he was in that finals, it's Matt Myers, who is seeing this match as an opportunity, a golden opportunity to win NGW gold or silver in the case of the Gen X League Cup so that he can be in the running for a champion free champion contest with his best friend and the man who just beat him weeks ago, the show stealer Nathan Cruz. The NGW heavyweight title is the most hotly contested and most televised title in British wrestling today. But let's not forget the newest title on televised British wrestling today, that Gen X League Cup, which Bubblegum is the champion of. As look at this, Matt Myers. Two to one arm drag, Mexican style. Sends Manchester's cocky Bubblegum into the corner as Chardonnay watches on. Monkey flip there, pushed off by Bubblegum and a big European uppercut. And now we're starting to see the speed and the pace that has become so synonymous with the Gen X League. Oh, oh, look at that. Matt Myers going for that arm drag again. And Bubblegum went to the eyes. Matt Myers managed to shake it off. And look, Bubblegum holding onto the leg. Matt Myers pushing him off. And these guys back and forth, back and forth. It's Myers and Bubblegum and a big kick to the side of the head. The temple of Matt Myers met the boot of Manchester's Gen X League champion, Bubblegum. And if there's one man outside of Myers that wants that Gen X League Cup, it is the wild boar, Mike Hitchman, who believes he was robbed. Whoa! Bubblegum sending Myers down and down hard to the outside. As I was saying, Cardiff's wild boar, Mike Hitchman, really, really, in many people's eyes, is the man who should be the Gen X League champion because he hit the most dangerous move in many people's eyes in British wrestling today, that package pile driver on TNA British Boot Camp 2 and a Mark Andrews in that finals. But before he could make the cover, Bubblegum rolled Mike Hitchman out of the ring and got the pin. And now Chardonnay and Bubblegum really, really have a newfound confidence because Bubblegum went through a hell of a winning, oh, sorry, a hell of a losing streak on this program. But he's turned that around into being a winner. And now he's in a situation where every person that he wrestles must beat him within 10 minutes. It's a, a strange predicament and a position for a wrestler to be in. But Bubblegum will retain that championship if he doesn't get beaten in just 10 minutes, such as the, the rules set out in the Gen X League. So it's rapidly making Bubblegum's matches the fastest matches in televised British wrestling today. Myers back in the corner. And the man that Myers fought in that incredible contest, Nathan Cruz, will be on this program next week, defending the NGW undisputed heavyweight title against the winner of this episode's main event. The four-man knockout tournament comes to its conclusion before the end of the hour and the winner of that contest will get his title shot next week and you see how on our replay look at bubblegum there big drop kick off the apron myers attempted to try and block the impact but unfortunately for him as he fell backwards he found nothing but a wooden floor and a steel chair and now bubblegum trying to slow down the offense of matt myers as chardonnay looks on and Chardonnay has been very public and very vocal in saying she's using Bubblegum's fame to try and launch her modelling career. So she soaks up every ounce of camera time that she gets on this programme as Bubblegum there blocking Myers' attempt at offence and momentum. But is it enough? Is it enough? As oh, Myers rolls around and a oh, small package. Look at this. Oh, seven and a half minutes into this Gen X League contest. And now Myers getting his first offensive flurry in quite some time. Went for the knees to the face there, Bubblegum blocks it, and look at that big kick, again, to the side of the head on holes Matt Myers. Both men roll through, goes for a kick blocked by Myers, and a big forearm, big kick, back and forth in this Gen X opener here on British Wrestling Weekly. And look at what, you know what Bubblegum's going for there, is the ice cream headache as he gets sent over the top, lands on the open. God, this is getting hard to call. Double leg sunset flip, Nelson held on by Myers as we are eight minutes into this one. Referee Adam Johnson down and just a two. Oh, Bubblegum charging the corner, Myers there with a kick to the side of the head. 
Turn around is fair play, as Jim Ross would say. And look at that, greetings from Awesome Town. Second rope moonsault there on Bubblegum. And we have got just 90 seconds left. And what's Chardonnay doing? As much as I, I, I mean, as a red-blooded male, as much as I can appreciate what Chardonnay's doing, this is not the time and the place. And Adam Johnson needs to turn around because we are getting dangerously close to that 10-minute time limit. Myers cannot get distracted. If he's hopes and dreams, oh, look, no, not like this. Not like this. Oh, bubble gun there. And massive kick. Didn't quite catch all of that as Matt Myers able to block some of it. But you could still see the force. And Bubblegum now, scaling to the top. We have just 60 seconds left in this Gen X League match. Double foot stop bar into the kidneys of Holmes Matt Myers. And Myers didn't go down, but you can tell the pain. He's trying to fight it with every fibre of his being. As now, Bubblegum back to the ice cream headache. That pedigree variation blows the kiss at Chardonnay, but Myers, whoa, 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 backdrop. Sends Bubblegum down. God, we've got just over 30 seconds left. And Oh, Maya Stunner attempt, Bubblegum comes back. Oh, gosh, these guys are giving everything. Bubblegum hits the ropes, handspring, comes back, ducks a kick, Myers, and oh, Maya Stunner! Maya Stunner, if he can get the pin on that, and oh no, you know, he's going for that Canadian destroyer. Moonsault pile driver didn't quite get all of it, but if he can get the cover, God, we've got just 10 seconds left. This is frantic, this is intense. Referee Adam Johnson down for the cover, and this is it, one. Two and three, we've got no, no way, no, no way. Oh my God, that, that, that was just half a second away. But it looks to me, we need to get the official word from, yeah, Stevie Aaron saying it was half a second away. But I think, oh, the time limit's run out. Can you believe that? Ladies and gentlemen, the 10 minute time limit has expired. Oh. Therefore, the result of this contest, a draw. Gosh. Which means still your NGW Gen X League champion, Bubblegum. How heartbreaking for Matt Myers, who was literally, and I do mean literally, half a second away from winning the Gen X League Cup and being able to climb the ladder back to the show scene and Nathan Cruz. But I said it earlier, and we see, see on our replay, if Bubblegum is not beaten within 10, sec 10 minutes, sorry, he retains that cup. And look how close it was. Myers, here's that Myers stunner. Bubblegum bounces off the ropes, and look at this. It was known as the Canadian Destroyer, Moonsault pile driver, but the impact of Bubblegum's head hitting that canvas bounced him almost out of the ring, Myers, just in time. And referee Adam Johnson, look at this, two and bang. Half, I mean, it was less than half a second, literally a quarter of a second, and we'd have had a new champion. Don't forget our massive main event still to come, NGW's four-man knockout tournament to find a new number one contender to the show stealer Nathan Cruz concludes coming up next.